Hi everyone, it's Gothic Lee Man here. Finally back with a video. I know it's been forever. I will probably do a video update of why, why it's been forever. But for today, I thought I'd finally share this lovely set with you guys today. The pretties are here. I finally got the pretties. So I thought at the moment I will talk about the wallet so for the people that don't know um, the designer is Avelina de More and she collaborated with another um, so there's a logo it's not very well can't see it very well but there Avelina de More with Mahatsune and Mahatsune's um, I first started following Mahatsun from her belly dancing videos and belly dancing career because she does a very dark alternative gothic style belly dancing um, and she's gotten quite famous and well known now because um, when I first heard of her was probably about eight years back and longer than that when I first um, knew of her. So I've been a, a small fan for a very long time. Um, but yeah, now she does her belly dancing in, with concerts with amazing artists and bands. And her career has just expanded from there. And, and you know, she does modelling and other stuff. She's just beautiful. Um, and it's just amazing to see that her career has just bloomed. And she worked with... Avelina to design this beautiful set and of course I love my onks one of my Instagrams I'm like if I could find more room for an onks in my life I will find it <laughs> I would probably will one day get a tattoo maybe here I don't know we'll see <laughs> but yeah I just I needed this set in my life it was just my perfect handbag and I was in between handbags finding the right handbag for me and I was like this is it I'm done I'm sorted now so of course I have the wallet to show you so we'll get a closer view of the wallet so rotate it around and first off I love the simplicity of this wallet because I was using the Black Friday wallet and I've got to say hands down that wallet is still going strong. I have had that wallet for over, feels like over six months or longer now and there's still nothing wrong with that wallet. It's still in perfect condition from the day I bought it. So I've just overwhelmed it how, you know, how it's still staying beautiful it's still in perfect condition like I've had other wallets from other brands and the zippers start going and you know the pattern starts to wear out or you know it just starts to get that wear and tear look where this wallet is still just as fabulous as the day I bought it so I can't believe that so I'm hoping for the same for the Mahatsune wallet and I'm just going to juggle the wallets I think like I'm just at the moment I want this one when I feel like going back to that one I will go back to that one make them last a bit longer with juggling them so of course let's hear that click <laughs> so here it is the logo because we've got to have that got to have that and then here we are there's my ID but here it is in all its glory it's got its compartment there which I put my stuff in cards there it actually fits these really nicely these are um, security protectors for your ATM cards so no one can steal yeah, RFD scanner protectors and it fits them in really nicely so I've been really happy about that um, and this part I found the Black Fridays was really tight where this one I haven't had that issue with my cards they come in and out more easily than the Black Friday wallet I love the simplicity of it just being plain and black and 
where it, hers was a bit shiny it's shinier there and it's got the red velvet so I've just been really loving the simplicity of this wallet um, and then it's got its zipper compartment up the top here as well as the one in the back so I'm loving this wallet it's probably one of my new favorite wallets um, my only negative for the wallet is is when you end up with too many coins inside here it makes it really hard to close so I've but what I've been doing is of course I've actually been utilizing this instead and putting all my coins in this compartment instead of the middle one now and then I've never had a closing issue with the wallet since I've been doing that so yeah my note for that put your coins in there unfortunately she doesn't have any of these wallets in stock anymore she goes off a pre-ordering system where you have to buy it when it's in the pre-order stage and just wait the time frame from when they can be manufactured and then sent out to her so she is out of stock I don't know if she will get more in stock and um, I don't know you'd have to go to her website which of course I'll put all in the description for you to have a look but I've been really impressed with this and I love it and I it's just a perfect design for me if that makes sense it's my dream my dream bag and dream wallet virtually so now I will talk a little bit about the Mahatsune handbag and I might put some stuff inside it for you so here it is the Mahatsune handbag and it's got its strap as well so and again I love the simplicity that it's not over complicated which I love of course you know very easy to detach these if you want to take them off so but yeah I've just been really enjoying the simplicity of some of the stuff on this bag because you really don't need it's beautiful enough as it is you don't need to over complicate it with other stuff so it's got its strap up the top where your hand fits nicely there so you're not actually hitting the spikes when you hold it so that I'm really liking that so when you put your arm through see it's not hitting the spikes so when you want it I would I would have loved to make if you could get this longer even like I find this might be but just a little too short for me if that makes sense it would have been nice if I could have had a longer version of it to sit it a bit further up my arm um, at first I'm not used to this style of handbag so it took me a little while to get used to opening and closing because I'm used to having the zipper style like in the middle but I've powered through and I love it so of course it's got beautiful it got feet on the bottom so when you put it on the ground or if you have to put it down it's a little bit more protected and then it's got its sides sides and then the zipper part here which I find is really useful for my mobile phone that's where I put my phone I've got um, an S8, Samsung S8, so I fit that in this part. And there. So let's open it up. Click again. Um, unfortunately, mine was one of the mirrors um, that got damaged. So you can see my pretty rose screensaver on my computer. Um, my mirror was unfortunately one of the ones that was scratched so but she did send a lovely letter just explaining that um, it happened it was out of her control and I had the choice of $20 off um, my next purchase or one of the free compact mirrors that she will make in the future so I've opted for the mirror because I think I'm going to fall in love with them anyway and probably buy them anyway so I figured well that's that's a win for me so there and here it is at the moment I've got crap on the bottom if that makes sense I've got a bottle of perfume in there it's got another compartment there to slide things into and then a zipper part so now the fun part I will put my junk in the bag to show you so here is my work 
bag because I work as well and I don't want to take my pretty bag to work I just use a backpack for work so of course first we'll put the wallet in in goes the wallet um, a diary I keep a diary it's very sparkly my mum bought it for me so sparkly diary so I take that out because I live off my diary I'm really old-fashioned I go I run around sort of yeah, I need a diary in my life I've got deodorant deodorant I live in Australia we need deodorant hand sanitizer um, let's see and nothing else I want from my work bag at the moment so bye bye work bag so now that all fitted in there nicely so the diary put to the side there's the wallet behind it and then deodorants at the bottom and there's still room for sunnies um, keys my phone see there's still plenty of space there like I can feel my hand there's still room and that's what I love there's still room for that and usually like the slots on the side like I said I've got a perfume bottle there or I put some makeup on the side there and that's been working well and we will close close the bag see close no drama and there we are the Mahatsune handbag there it is so these are the things I've loved about the bag let's talk I've had probably one negative to the bag and that's the back of it um I've already started to mark it here I think that's my fault it's obviously rubbed off something on my clothing or something so it's already marked which is a bummer but you know we'll get over that that's my wear and tear it's these two little spikes here that are my my only negative and the reason for that is um, they get caught on things or when you're wearing it you can feel it on on your hip so you know for for pretty wise it looks beautiful having the spikes there I, you know the look is gorgeous with them there but for for things with lace fish fish nets because I love to wear all that stuff it gets caught so I've had to wear more simpler clothing items when I'm wearing using this bag because of the fact things get caught but other than that I love it it's been my dream handbag and I've never looked back but like I said I rotate between this at work like so when I'm not at work I throw everything in this bag when I'm at work throw everything goes back in the other bag so very pleased with with this handbag I'm sure I will end up buying more from Avelina as as she designs more I'm even thinking about purchasing the men's wallet which I didn't think I would but I think I want to see if it fits perfectly in my Black Friday um, clutch because I don't really want to buy the bigger Black Friday bags at this stage um, but I do still love my clutch and if I could get a wallet that I could put all my cards in and still put in that clutch I'd be really stoked because like when I have to go to events or things that I want a smaller bag to I want a full wallet I've usually I've been putting one of these in her in the bag and that works all right like for all your cards but it doesn't work for coins and stuff so I really wouldn't mind a, a wallet that can fit that so I'm gonna give the men's wallet a go which I didn't think I would but but here's the beautiful Mahatsune handbag and yes this one is unfortunately out of stock as well and I'm not sure if she will be designing a new one or something else it's just a wait and see at this stage yeah if you do fall in love with any of her items you really have to sort of buy it in the pre-order stage so this is my video thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed my review and my take on the Mahatsune bag so 
I do have social medias if you want to follow me. Instagram is where I'm mostly active and I might, when I'm up to it, I will me actually message you back in messages or comments as well. Uh, thank you for watching. Till next time.